What is up y'all? Welcome back to another video. We just pulled up to Groovy's house and I got some parts to install on the M4. Let's get it. We go. So as I was saying, I do have some parts for the car today. I got them, I literally have all my tools and all my car stuff at Groovy's house. Let's see if the garage opens and if I remember the code. As I was saying, I literally keep all my tools and all my car stuff here with Groovy. Therefore, huge shout out to Groovy. You know, shout out to you for lending me the space, letting me, you know, keep my stuff here. It's a win-win situation. I have my tools here. He gets to work on his car. I help him out. So at the end of the day, it evens out. Now, for today's install, I've been having this for a while now. I sourced this a while back. I got it in LA, and then they shipped it over. Now, the part that we're installing today is a Mishimoto oil catch can, and it's for the M4. So, it's for the S55 engine. There is blowback in the engine. It does tend to burn a little bit of oil through that blowback. The reason I sourced out the oil catch can is basically to interfere with the blowback into the engine. So, rather than having it go back in and burning off, I'm gonna have that oil catch can do what it's meant to do and trap and catch the oil that's typically sent back into the engine. Basically empty it out every oil change, I would say, to then prevent, you know, dirty valves and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a maintenance modification, if you will, but it also helps with the integrity of the engine and the long run, you know, it, it's best to preserve your engine. Therefore, since it's basically a maintenance modification, I opted in on it, might as well get on it so without further ado let's get to the install so as i was saying i got this ship a while back came from la it's a bit dirty i will clean it up but i'll take it out of the package and then we'll go from there now the plan for the oil catch can was to install it at the same time that i had done my oil change it just had slipped my mind so i guess we'll do it now okay so let's get it out of the package real quick and then we can set it down so there it is you guys the mishimoto oil catch can Pretty sleek, anodized black, so it'll, you know, it won't stand out too much. Therefore, making it a stealthy modification or addition to the engine bay. Now, you guys are probably wondering, well, what, what are these hoses attached? Now, I sourced this from a previous BMW owner. It was on his M4. Now, he made the job a whole lot easier due to the fact that he provided the original oil blowback hoses. So, rather than me having to take the ends off of my OEM hoses, he actually provided his making this a lot easier because I literally just have to plug and play, making it super easy on my end and a quick install. Let's go from here. Now, only thing I need to do is source out the hardware. I know it's in the box somewhere. Let me just go grab them real quick. Okay, here is the hardware. It's in a Ziploc bag. I'll go more into detail once we're in the engine bay. So let us grab the oil catch can, the hardware and a rag and head over to the car. Okay, so let's pop up in the hood. And the oil catch can is actually going to be seated right here. These are going to be the mounting points for the oil catch can. The car's still a bit hot because I was driving it, so I'm going to let this cool off. But let me source out the tools so I can show you guys what we will be needing for the install. Okay, so here are the tools that we will need for the install. Some pliers, preferably some needle nose pliers. A T25 Torx bit. A T40 Torx bit, as well as a ratchet and a flathead. The smaller the better on the flatheads just so we can use that to remove some of this a sensor and pop the old hoses out. Apart from that, that's pretty much it. So let's get started. As you guys can see in the engine bay, this is the hose that we'll be removing. It's one single unit that goes all the way down and it goes into your intake. What we're gonna do is remove this and basically have a middle ground which is the catch can to capture all the oils that would typically go back to get burned off oil blowback comes through here into the baffled oil catch can gets trapped and then the regular bypass gases just pass right through with no oil so that's the function that these oil catch cans 
provide. So we're gonna start in the bottom and it's that bolt that we gotta remove right there. It's this bolt right here, which is a T25. So we're gonna remove that. After that, there's a sensor that's right behind this little flange. Remove that. Once that's off, we can remove the whole hose and install the new one. Once you have safely removed the bolt, loosen it with your hand just so you don't risk the fact of dropping it into the engine bay. And then, next thing's next is gonna be the sensor that's down right, in, right under here. So with the help of two screwdrivers, the ones I mentioned prior, I was able to release the actual sensor. If you guys can see right there, that is the sensor. We removed it right now. Now we can pull out this hose. Slowly pop it off like so. So with the help of a screwdriver, you're gonna apply a little bit of pressure on the hose right here. Once you're applying some pressure, you should just be able to slide it right off and it pops off just like that. Just pull it out and that is the OEM hose for the blowback oil. So this hose right here is basically this one right here that's already been provided. Typically what you have to do is remove these and attach them to the new hose. But since these are already attached, we're pretty much good to go. We can bolt it on and go from there. So let's open this up and look at it real quick. So if you don't know what a oil catch can does or what a baffled oil catch can does is practically the oil that's caught gets trapped in here. You remove this every time you do an oil change and dump out the oil. And this is how the system actually works. So this is a baffled system, meaning that once the oil comes in, so as the oil enters the system, it goes from a gas state to a solid state, thanks to these little filters in here that cause the oil to get trapped inside the can. So once the oils are trapped, only thing left is the free gases to travel back into the intake and no oil is then burned off. This system allows that for clean valves. Let's get to installing now. Next thing you wanna do is loosen up the Torx bits, which are going to be for the plate that holds the oil catch can. Once they're free, you can remove them by hand and then we'll go from there. General rule of thumb for the hose clamps is you generally want them to be facing the position or the direction that makes it easier once it's installed. So if I ever have to go back and either loosen this or tighten it, I want it facing wherever I have some free space. If I have this the opposite way, let's say it was facing down, it would be much more difficult to reach that, loosen it and tighten it. Therefore, these are facing up. This one's also facing up. Because the bottom one's gonna be snug down in the engine bay, I already went ahead and tightened it. I don't think I will be needing to, you know, address that. But for these top ones, do make sure they're facing in the direction that'll make it easier for you to work on it in the future. So these are the original bolts that we just took off. As you guys can see, the provided ones are significantly longer. Why? Because this plate is rather thick. So the bolts make up for the additional sandwiched plate that now is in between the frame of the car and the actual plate of the oil catch can. And before you actually snug up the oil catch can, what you wanna do is you wanna feed the bottom hose in first, just so it's easier. Once you have that hose in, we can plug the sensor in. Can't really see it, but it's right here. And then once we plug the top hose after that, we then torque this down. Okay, so the bottom section is done. I got the bolts in and I plugged in the sensor. Now we just gotta come up here and slide the hose on. Once the hose is on, we should be smooth to then move on to bolting down the sandwich plate with the oil catch can. Only thing left now to do is tighten up these bolts, snug them up with your T45 Torx bit. After that's snug, as I was mentioning prior, see how this is easy to now have access to, as well as this one up here and this hose clamp right here. Tighten those up, make sure nothing's loose. And after that, it's honestly just pretty much done. It's a pretty simple modification that should provide your car with, you know, the safety of not having to burn any oil or, you know, the fact that your valves would get dirty and having to walnut blast them in the future whatsoever. I've been meaning to install this for a while now. Like I said, I'm just happy to finally have this on. One less thing to worry about. Now it's just maintenance wise oil changes and oil catch cans. So there you guys have it. Oil catch can is in. Shout out to Mishimoto. Push the limits. Um, 
like I said, the car's coming together piece by piece, little by little, we're getting there. So now that that's done, only thing left to do is just turn the car on, make sure there's no codes, drive it around, make sure everything's smooth, everything's tight, and just go from there. So there we have it, you guys. We installed the Mishimoto oil catch can. It was a pretty easy, straightforward install, nothing too bad. It is kind of tight when you're working on the bottom, so I would recommend you know someone to help out. The only thing that I really was concerned about was dropping a bolt and then having to look for the bolt that you dropped. Luckily, you know, I learned from experience. I've dropped bolts before. It's not the best. So I was careful enough to, you know, grab the bolts and unthread them by hand. Little tip for you guys if you're working on your cars. Other than that, the car runs smooth. Like I said, it's really just preventative maintenance. I don't really have to worry too much about the blowback anymore just because I have the oil catch can. Only thing that I'm concerned now, I wouldn't say concerned, but the only thing that I have on my to-do list now maintenance wise is basically just empty out the oil catch can whenever i do an oil change i'm excited to have finally had the time to install that it's been sitting for a while now more parts to come just stick with it i promise you guys more content plenty of things to come for the car it's coming together nicely i'm excited to finally be able to you know showcase the build to you guys and build something for you guys at the end of the day this is our hobby so i'm happy to have you guys by my side like always like comment subscribe and keep it authentic.